Way too many fakes in my face, I can see the evils Drug addictions, bad bitches, they gotta be jokes See the Pico, black flags, it's all What's good, yo? We back, RTTV! What's good, man? You are now back, RTTV, baby. Baby, baby. You are the next. You are now next. rocking with the smooth sound. Of RTTV. The late night oh, edition. We have to wait, you know, everybody. It's always late night edition. All the stands, all the Ariana Grande, Grande stands been waiting, man, diligently, man. I don't been know waiting. what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Crash, Apple Music, I guess that's that star power that Ariana Grande has, man. I've never seen that before. Yeah, yeah. Like one song came up at a time and it went off, then it came back, yeah. so. We waited on Apple Music for like an hour. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah, I think the only time I could see that happen is like the anime king dropped the album and shit like that. But I mean, shit on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that album might be trash. Yeah, so Ariana Grande back with her 2019 debut album this year. Mm -hmm. It's called Thank You Next. We got Thank You Next, Imagine, Seven Rings, and we just watched the video for Break Up With Your Girlfriend. I'm bored. Everything so far is dope. We see the growth in Ariana Grande. Yo, Sucks. shout out to her being able to go through so much and coming out, putting it in the music, man. Yeah. But with no further ado, let's get into this joint. Right, right, man. So we're going to skip Imagine. Check our um, reaction to that right Sucks. down below. Bang we're going to get to number two, Needy. Why are you so needy, Pat? I don't know, man. Ariana Grande knows, yo. She owes me down. Yeah, I'm fucking with this, yo. Yeah, she, like, I'm she, telling she, she was a needy fat. Yeah, she's, like, yeah. Yeah. she's like, yo, even if you ain't here right now, I'm away for you, boy. That's she has a voice she's away from me. Mm. Mm. I like that little background, the harmony background. Mm. How you feeling about this one? It, it feels, feels good to be needy. needy. Definitely. I like it on that girl needy, though. I ain't going front. Yeah. Like, yeah. Makes you feel like macho man, you feel me? Yeah, like I'm the one that's gonna be there to provide what she needs and stuff like that. Exactly. So, shout out to Ariana Grande because, you know, I'm here whenever you are feeling needy. I'll rub your feet. Probably kiss it too. I suck them toes. Y'all yes. different, yo. <laughs> <laughs> She's not too best pedicures. Mm. 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 My old school Kanye West horns. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, the way it's fading out. Mm -hmm. oh the violins. Because her love is like a, it's a musical, man. I like how she started off this album real like, I feel like real sensual, real like, I think really diving into who, who she is as a woman when it comes to relationships with like imagine, it's like imagine all the aspects of being her with a relationship and then right here just breaking down her needy side and stuff like that within a relationship what she needs and how to satisfy like, her yeah and i feel like from the songs that we've heard already she's just kind of going through the emotions of yeah. like just being an old person mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. i'm needy sometimes mm -hmm. i'm like fuck you i need somebody else yeah. sometimes yeah. i'm like yo break up with your girl i need um, you you know what i'm saying oh, like, I, need you. Yeah. I need your girl like you have a magic where she's like getting that unattainable mm -hmm. love like something i can't get yeah. then you got like thank you next to the complete opposite mm -hmm. then you got seven rings i'm the shit yeah. then you got break up with your girlfriend i'm next. like she got all different types of things right here so Shout out to Ariana Grande. Ariana, she's like the sexiest home record. <laughs> what part of kids is number three? NASA or oh, Thank You Next? This is about to be some out of space shit. No bullshit. Mm. This is hot. See, that's the complete opposite. Like, complete yeah. opposite. Like, instead of being needy. So now no, she's talking about having distance now. Like, so first it was like, I'm needy or needy. This was more so about like, yo, we need distance. Yeah, space. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. NASA, NASA, like you get away from it all mm -hmm. and stuff space. like that. Yeah, oh. space. I should live in our own space and shit like that. That's dope right there, yo. <laughs> this is a perfect pop song right here, yo. Right, to my back, my half of this one. Ah. Wait a fuck it up, baby. <laughs> we, yo, I we feel like zoned in right now. Yeah, we were zoned in. I was gonna catch it to Jerry just bounced too much on my side, and I ended up over here. I'm waiting for Ariana Grande to come from her space so she could bounce it to my side. Yo, no bullshit. But I like that though. 
It's like, one minute you could be needy. You want all the attention from a dude. You look like a type. And the next minute, a girl <laughs> just wants to have her space. The girls are really like that. They're really bipolar. Mm-hmm. One woman they want you, one well, minute. Let's not box them all in like Yeah, like, damn. Like, they're not the all the same, bro. A lot of women, they want their space. And, like, put that on the comments if I'm tripping. Like, exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Space, That's yeah. why it's all relatable because... We all want some space. Sometimes we're a little needy. Depends on how we feel. Yeah, you you want to see, see, see how you just flipped it on me? I'm crazy. One second, like, you know what, Patrick? <laughs> you need time to miss that person. Exactly. So I feel it like sometimes you want to be with that person, but there's like times like, yo, let me miss you for a minute. Like, yeah, yo, yeah. relax. That's real shit. I feel it, yo. How can you miss me when I'm with you? Let's get into number four, Bloodline. Because I'm trying to do the- <laughs> oh, this, 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 this is different. right here with the trumpets. Young money, cash money. I can hear Birdman. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. I want my baby. Ooh, ooh. 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 I'll take it. Oh. That was a different sound. Get it? I don't want, what? I don't want you in my bloodline to show you that. I have kids with you? Yeah, I don't want to have kids with you. I just want some, like... No strings attached. Try sex. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's like a train. <laughs> Damn, baby. Like, that was a flat out stroke rate. Yeah, that, that, was, that was actually a full stroke rate. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> she knows that, see? It's like island and pop at the same time, yeah. yo. Yo, Ariana Grande, yo, it's cool. We don't need a bloodline. We don't. Well, actually, don't. I don't know. I'm stuck in between the two because I want to be with you, but then I want to be in you, too. So it's like, shit. This is a really good song, though. Uh, this, a, this album is very enjoyable. Yeah, yes. it's, it's like, like, it's a bop. That's just fine. Bop. Yeah, yeah, no I think I like it more than Sweetener already. Yeah, because the thing is with Sweetener, I feel like with Sweetener, it's like it was a follow up to a tragedy and stuff like that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So then it was like really how to push people through a tragedy. This one is like post breakup, so it's like going through after a relationship and what I need in a relationship and stuff like that and everything. Living my best stuff. life. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I feel like that was like going through it, and like this one's like coming on the other side. Yeah, and what what it made of you going through, you know what I'm saying, all those situations. And as we can hear from this song, she's just turning into like a free spirit. You know what I'm saying? Free spirit, baby. Yo, let's get into this number five fake smile. <laughs> There's a lot of fake smiles out there, yo. Straight up. Oh! Trials, yeah. Let us know if you know the original, original sample. Yeah, I wonder which one's gonna be. She's done fake smiling for y'all, yo. Yeah. She's done with yo, y'all. I need to hear her and Rihanna make a song. That would be amazing. I feel like I hear the kind of like the cadences she's been using and stuff. Even yeah. the beats, like the island. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, it reminds me of like old, like some of the things Rihanna used to do. I would love to hear them on a track together. Bad Girl Riri meets Bad Girl Ari. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I love how we just, we was just talking about the fact that like Selena was like how she was getting through like the tragedies and things like that. Mm-hmm. And she on this song was like, yo, after all the things I've been through, I can't fake these smiles anymore. Mm-hmm. She's like that real yeah, talk. Okay. She's a real one. Real talk. Fucking sick smile, yo. Ooh, I love the slow red. She got better bars than Patrick. Necro. Necro. completely different like um song compared to Bottle Love and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I like how whoever the produ- uh, producer was for that song, I like how you just reinvented a whole new beat with that sample right there. And I love the shit, the topic of the song right mm-hmm. I feel like mass celebrities go through that shit. I can't wait. Actually no, forget it. Like what do you call it? Uh I know a lot of the tracks on here were um produced by Max Martin. So shout out to him. Shout I'm not sure if he produced Martin. that particular track. Mm-hmm. But um 
Yo, she has one of them voices. There's not many voices like that that I feel like when they sing to you, it's done. Like, anything they ask of you, <laughs> like, Kilani got one of them voices. Like, Kilani sang to me, bro. Fuck it. Whatever, girl. Have it she's all. pregnant, though, so no disrespect Respect. to whoever that is. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I do. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying, though, because I feel like with her, it's like there's not really anybody that I can think of over the top of the head that's in her lane of her voice or something like that. Like, she, she, has, really good she has a very good voice, and I, I feel like... I carry. Yeah, exactly. Like, the way she like do that high pitch. You know what I'm I saying? guess you, yeah, exactly. Mariah Carey's no longer. We won't consider her in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I mean, she like, might, she might, but yeah, we haven't heard well, it. <laughs> no. Yeah. She ain't yeah, in the game yeah. right now. Yeah, her Take trying that's probably a bad idea. Like number six, Ariana Grande. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Every B song's very different, yo. Around. <laughs> Wait, she just like forget about him? That might be a bad idea. Me. Yeah. Is she getting the girls in two songs in this now? Because I know that video was yeah, gonna show she want, Evan. That's you right. You know what I mean? I got it. Yeah. I, well, I feel you though, I feel you though. Yeah, you're right. Free spirit, baby. <laughs> But um, yo, let's get into this next track. It's called Makeup Number Seven. I have no idea where this beat's gonna go. I'll tell you that right now. Trap. Trap. Yo, you never had a girl tell you that before? No. Like, yes. I remember, yo, hell yeah. Well, I've had girls look at me like, I love when I get you mad just because I know you yeah. know what's coming next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yo. Like, girls really purposely get niggas mad. Yeah, just to hell intensify yeah. intensify the sex and on some real shit. Ariana, girl, you can play with my heart all you want some real shit. I'm definitely fucking to the song, yo. Just let my boy Pat get a chance at me. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> at this point, yo, I'm going to throw water on this man. <laughs> you better come get my boy. <laughs> within this right here so anybody that needs some like counseling or needs something therapeutic this right here is obviously like she's like the female drake yeah like i feel like even the startup everything is the same you know what I'm saying she started acting that's how a lot of people started knowing yeah, her yeah that's like true drake did. yeah and then he uh she came about on music slowly made it she's you know, over the last few years she's been pumping music and she's always she's been like super popular. Yeah. super popular yeah it's just Mainstream. different in her lane because 
there's a lot of people that was kind of doing what she was doing. Yeah. And now she's like coming on top, and she came. This is like her second job in like six months. You know what no bullshit. Selena just came out. Yeah. Is she getting number one on Selena too? Is she getting number one on Selena too? Like I know Brandon was one of his songs. I don't remember though. She probably did, but she's been still in the game for so long. Yeah, she been doing like. I think she did that album. What was the main song off that? I thought it was Just Keep Breathing. Oh, God is a Woman. God, God, God is a Woman. woman. Yeah, 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 both of those songs were actually is huge. Shit. Huge. But yeah, let's get into number eight Ghosting. That's what Jerry be doing. Do you hear that voice oh, right there? Oh, it's like Titanic. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about math on this one, bro. Just a voice to fit the mood and fit the conversation, you know. And that production was fucking. Like the, mm, it was sad. Mm, yeah. Was like, mm, yeah, and you went the way she adjusted her voice too was kind. Mm. And it kind of seemed like she talking about like her relationship with Pete Davidson, like like the long wish you I, it, like I feel bad that I still wasn't here kind of thing. I don't know, man. I right, hear the rest of this track. <laughs> and stuff like that like you can tell that like she has such a strong bond with him and stuff like that like the fact that when she's as, as like going to sleep she just remembers like all the memories that she had with him and shit like that and like you can go as far as saying like i want you here instead yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah. that's, that's crazy that's crazy it's very cinematic you see like how it, it picked up and shit like that it's like the climax of the song and it's about to drop right here Sonically, yo, they did this thing on the, uh, this album right The here. synths on this show is mm -hmm. crazy, crazy. This was amazing. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was, beautiful. Yeah. That was a nice ballad. R.I.P. to the homie Mac. That was one of the best tribute songs. Yeah. Ever, bro. That's why, I, that's why I really, like, I really feel like this is, like, she's really immaculate at making, <clears> like, <throat> records that's a, like helps people get through particular situations and shit like that i feel like a lot of people that's lost someone whether it's a loved one whether the person that you was in a relationship with i feel like this song right here it could really help through that process because you're really hearing the person that literally went through it and still now her heart talking about the situation and shit like that just let her be vulnerable and let it all piece together and shit and honestly like we can learn a lot like from people that are in the media from ariana Grande. like mm -hmm. we're on YouTube a lot, we make a lot of videos, put a lot of content, yeah. and I feel like her transparency is like nobody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no bullshit. Like her, I mean, her music especially, you know what I'm saying, when that's mm -hmm. what counts the most, because that's what she does. And I feel like um, for her to put it all out there, I feel like that's why so many people gravitate to exactly. her music and mm -hmm. to what she's actually doing. And that's why she's the biggest artist right now, hands down, female, male, she's just the biggest yeah, artist. She does not hold anything yeah, back, like, yo, and I fuck with it, yo. I'm in for you. All right, let's get into number nine. <laughs> In my head. <laughs> oh, this is actually the last song because the last, yeah. yeah, Seven Rings yeah. we've done. Mm -hmm. Check out that reaction. Thank you, Next. We did a video and a song for that. And That's Break good. Up with Your Girl. We just did the video. Board. Did the video for Oh. Ooh, you hear that in the background? Ooh. I really. Dot. <laughs> Mm. I thought I knew you well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Production's bananas on this shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Production on this album. shit, it might smack like a Metro Boomin track in my car, yo. Yo, no, Metro Boomin was a moment. You know? There's not one ill produced song. All them are like ill produced songs. Very you know? ill, wow, bro. Very ill. I didn't yeah. think I was going to like it this much. I'm yeah, like, no, no bullshit. This is my favorite project for Ariana. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
That must have been the, the most adorable skirt skirt I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that was big. Let it ride. Wow. Yo. That was amazing. And that's a reason. Ariana's a reason. Everybody's fired This is the most easy. And I'm fully exhausted, barely breathing, because Ariana hopped on this album and she was 10. Ooh, Straight like that. Lucky Weezer? Nah, that ain't even Weezer. Oh. <laughs> Some of the songs feel like she's teasing. But yeah, on some real shit, yo, this is a very well-versed unisex album. I feel like men could listen to this album yeah. and stuff like that. No and problem. If we're all talking, enjoy it. She really found her equilibrium of like, all right, how can I gravitate women and men sonically and context-wise, yo, real mm -hmm. shit. Like, she really found that that balance between the two right there. Cause like, it was, she was catering to emotions we both, as men and women, feel. Like, even on the song, the... Um, break up with your boyfriend, you can kind of, men can say break up with your girlfriend, I'm bored, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, besides kind of like, the fact we're not trying to do that. Nigga, you are trying to do that. And this nigga is that king no. of oh. Whoa. Yo, you I'm not spoke. the king of doing Shout that. Shout out to that. Oh, No, you remember the end of the Shout video? She's actually trying to get the girl. I'm not trying to get the guy. I'm trying to get the girl. <laughs> but before, but <laughs> if you listen to the song, you don't think she's going for the girl. Yeah, yeah, until you watch the video, you yeah. would know that. No, actually, I think, I think both people can hear this album, <laughs> but I definitely think women are going to really relate to oh, how this is. Because, like, sometimes I feel like this, sometimes I feel like that. Sometimes, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, emot emotion that everybody goes through, but I feel like she really put it in her her. Yeah, interesting perspective. Yeah, Very. I fucked with it crazy. I, I love Ariana Grande, man. I think um, I'm interested. I'm interested on how uh, up. what she does next. No, I'm not pulling up. I'm gonna let Patty do that. Pulling right up. now, she's gonna go on another world tour. Yeah, right. World I think she's, tour. Yeah, I think she's like <laughs> yeah, two so. albums in six months. Yeah. She's gonna go on the world tour. I'll be like, come on, bro. She got her Gucci man shit, bro. Gucci man, she's on some other shit. Gucci? Gucci? Nah, she's on some shit. Seven rings with number one, my nigga. Like, come on, man. Thank you, next one. Yeah, Come on, man. This album, like, I feel like this album is gonna, well, already catapulted her to even another pedigree of an artist and stuff like that. Real talk, so, like, I actually want to go to Ariana Grande concert, to tell you the truth. Ariana Grande, if you're watching this, Please invite us to a concert, yo. That would be amazing. We will awesome. happily be there. We want to do an interview with you and everything, real shit. And I want to uh, do more than that, too. But that's besides the point. Yeah, you heard Bouncer finna choke the fuck out of you. Who? Yeah. Uh, her Bouncer? Yeah, you know why? Wow. I'm gonna wait over here. I'm supporting her. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happens so you the one who's in love with Ariana Grande? Yeah. Boop! <laughs> that's not her. <laughs> yo, but shout out to Ariana Grande. Yo, you got a great album, but if it's your first time here, definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash. Yeah. That subscribe button. I go by the name of DC. Follow me on Instagram, DCZ underscore world RT. Stay tuned. She drops another video. You know who's going to be reacting to it. Right? Real shit, man. New queen of pop, man. Patrick R.T. Yo, Ariana Grande. I don't got to say nothing. I've said it throughout this whole reaction. I'm just going to say I love you, and I'm here for you. That's all, you got, that's all I got to say. Hey, yo, it's your boy Wells. You can follow me at Wells underscore RT. Get him, Wells. King Ariana Grande, you're on top of the world. Facts. Whole lot of gang. It's a man, the myth, the legend, woke us underscore RT. So Pat just called himself the queen of pop. So Ariana, you got some competition. I heard Jerry notice that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so Ariana, you got some competition. <laughs> it's not like that. I mean, it's you are the queen of pop. <laughs> And it's Patrick on too. Whatever, yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, Cloud. Patrick I'm glad Godzilla. you caught that. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, shout out to all the women doing this thing, yo. We can't wait for more music, and that settles it at the round table. Yeah. Hey, it's you there. Hey, it's Patrick on team, man. Make sure you follow us, man. Subscribe and all that. Roundtable clothing. Yeah, Yo, you rock with the videos, man. We got a whole bunch of everything around us right now, man. So make sure you subscribe down there and all that. Hey.